Welcome, my name is Lily, and in this video, I will discuss what's new with the SAP Commission's 1902 release, and I will focus on dashboards. The 1902 release allows the administrator to further control what data is released in dashboards and to whom. Currently, there are two ways data is sent to the end user dashboard. You can either choose to present live data in their dashboard, meaning every time the administrator runs a pipeline, the end user dashboard is updated. This means data isn't always final when running a pipeline. The second way is to enable release periods. This means you control which time frame and data the end user sees. You can run the pipeline various times, but only the release period data will be viewable to participants in their dashboards. The Commission's 1902 release has taken it a step further. Now the administrator can control the data reflected on the dashboard. If this option, Approved Data Calculation Toggle, is enabled in global settings within the Sales Performance homepage, then the administrator can run approved calculation data in the pipeline, and this will control what data is sent to the dashboard. Approved calculation data essentially creates a new data set that can be leveraged in dashboards as approved data. Admins can control what data is pushed into this data set so they can determine what data reps should or should not see as part of their dashboards. This removes real-time functionality, meaning only approved pipeline data will be displayed. Other pipeline run results will not display in reps dashboard. I'll demonstrate that now. First, you must enable the features that allow the administrator to control what data is sent to dashboards. To do this, I'll click Global Settings in Sales Performance Home. Then, I'll scroll down to Dashboard Personalization Settings, and I'll click the toggle, both the Release Periods and Approved Data Calculation toggle to enable their function. Now, I'll click on Commissions. I'll click the Run icon, then I'll click on the Pipeline. This is the Pipeline workspace. I'll click the Run a Pipeline icon. There are two new options for calculated data. You can either run a job to display approved calculated data in the dashboard, or you can purge approved data that you have run previously. The Purge Approved Data option is there to wipe the data set that was created when you ran the approved calculated data job. I'll click the radio button next to Approved Calculated Data, and I'll click Next. Here you can decide whether to run this calculation for multiple periods and decide which calendar period to use. I'll leave the settings as is and click Next. Here you can choose who you want to run the calculation for. Do you want to process all transactions or do you want to select specific positions or position groups? I'll click the first radio button and process all transactions for all positions and click Next. I'll click Note to enable advanced logging and click Next. I'll click on Run Now and I'll click Next. This is the summary of my selections and I'm ready to start the pipeline run so I'll click Start. Once the pipeline is done, that approved Calculate data will be displayed for the position selected. Since I selected for all transactions, that means all dashboard groups will have updated data in their dashboard. Since I also enabled release periods, the system will wait to display the data until the release period is active. Now I'll show you the final step. I'll click Sales Performance Home. I'll click the Dashboard icon in the left vertical menu bar. I'll click on the Release Periods link in the right upper corner. In the Calendar field, I'll select Main Monthly Calendar. Then, in the Period field, I'll select the period I want released. I'll select this month and year and click Release Periods for Dashboards. Now, the end users will be able to select this period I just released from the Periods drop-down box and see data for their specific period, and will only view approved calculated data for that period. I can unrelease a period or edit blocking. Edit blocking just means I can block specific users from seeing the dashboard altogether, or block a particular participant from viewing the approved calculation data in their dashboard. I'll click Edit Blocking to demonstrate this new feature. Here are all the positions that are tied to this dashboard, and I can select the user that needs to be blocked. In this example, I'll select Barbara Williams. I'll select Block from Approval and move her over to the blocked list. Then, I'll click Save Blocking. This is useful so I don't have to hold up displaying the whole dashboard for the group. If only one person's calculation is off, I can block it for that person while still displaying it for everyone else. Thanks for watching.